I would love to get your view on this read. We do not seem to be getting a massive market reaction, but definitely just confirms this sort of slow inflation backdrop in the United States. Exactly. So we already knew, given the details of the GDP report on Friday, that we had a pretty soft quarter for core PCE. And I think in some ways not surprising with the March print, just given what we saw with CPI, but also the healthcare component of, of PPI. So we knew that this was a weak quarter, probably to some extent exaggerated. But overall, it goes to show that that overall inflation trend remains very tepid and is going to remain a big hurdle to get the Fed tightening again. Well, that's the issue exactly, Sarah, because it, uh, there may be some specific things in this month, but it's the overall trend. We'll put a chart up here actually that shows where the trend has been on both core and basic PCE, which has been down and well below the 2% number, mm -hmm. which the Fed has stated is its goal. What does this mean to the Fed as they head into these meetings coming up this week? Well, I think what we're seeing in terms of, of the growth picture, like with today's consumer spending numbers, that momentum there is, is picking up. But until they see inflation begin to, to rise again and get not, not even just close to their target, but possibly even overshoot a little, I think it's a very high bar to get them, them tightening again, just given the fact that we've only seen core PCE hit their target for 10 months of this almost 10-year expansion now.